8.05 right now on your Friday morning, and they look like name brand candy products, but they really contain illegal levels of cannabis, and they appear to target young people. It's scary how similar they look. Law enforcement in several towns are trying to crack down. News 8's Ken Pierce is live in one of those areas outside of Waterbury Police Headquarters now with the latest. Hi, Kent. Alyssa and Keith, good morning to you. We're talking about edibles containing more THC than you're allowed to have in cannabis products in Connecticut and being sold in stores that are not allowed to sell cannabis products whatsoever. Police here in Waterbury seized hundreds of them during this past week. Waterbury's mayor said they found out about these products about three weeks ago. <clears throat> they started investigating and made their bust on Tuesday of this week. They made several arrests and seized boxes and bags, many decorated in bright colors and cartoon characters. That packaging seems to be targeting children, they say. Meanwhile, what's inside is actually stronger than any adult use cannabis items. A lot of these little stores were selling this stuff multiple uh, times stronger than you could buy it if it were legal. Those little stores they uh, busted are on Walnut, North Walnut, and Oak Streets. They include Maya's Grocery, Yellow Store, Up in Smoke, Adriel Mini Market, Batansis Grocery Market, and Mama's Little Market. Waterbury is not the only place cracking down. Watertown launched a similar investigation after a man there ate an edible containing a dangerous level of THC. He ended up in the hospital, and you're here, you'll hear from the police chief there. Coming up in the next half hour of Good Morning Connecticut. For now, live in Waterbury, I'm Kent Pierce. Back to you. Kent, thank you. Yeah, the packaging of those products looks so much like real candy. It does, yeah. yeah.